There are a lot of people making furniture, selling furniture, buying furniture. But they don't apply their mind, soul and heart into it. It's just a commodity for them. It's quite a process, especially with a handmade product. Doing something which is not just a trade, but it's an art. Pull it that way and staple it. We don't want to offer the same thing as everybody else. That's really a fun part of, of the design is coming up with cast iron bases and then seeing the molds made in the, in the first casting come out and it's red hot and it's all steamy and it just looks beautiful when it emerges from this uh, dark sand. Each container touches so many people. It will be almost like 100 lives are associated in making one dining table. I respect whom 
I work for, whom I work with, their talent, their uh, skills, whatever they put in with me in terms of efforts is what I respect. From the beginning, we have been about taking care of the people. Davil takes care of the people in India, we take care of the people here. It's not just in a professional life, it's in a personal life. To the families of all these people, to the people who are selling it, servicing it, and buying it. And be proud of something which we have created. So it's always fun. A founding member of our organization, Home Trends and Design. Hank got involved right away. They knew that they had an important thing to educate people on. Uh, you know, we use a lot of mango wood, we use a lot of reclaimed woods. Here in North America, mango is exotic for us, and we do not know that it's the most prevalent fruit on the planet. All of these woods are perfectly ideal for manufacturing furniture without harming the environment, without destroying the natural resources. An organization which has social and ecological cause to what they are doing. And we have the two-sided thing. We want to be the best product. We also want to be the best company. And another thing that they were in a very good position to begin educating about, the factory's relationship with the workers and the fact that the factories supports the workers in being more and more involved in the supply chain. We've come this far. We've danced this most excited to see the company continue to grow and, and be very successful but to maintain its humility and to be a great place to work and, and stay very family focused and people focused. This is our glory day. We are going to work for the next 10 years to spread the awareness about our raw materials. We are adding layers of management and structure to the company. We're going to have a lot of new product lines, new suppliers. So that we can provide extra support to our customers to make them successful as well. And I just see the company continuing on its uh, track as an innovator and one of the high growth companies in the industry.